Today, I'm sharing with you the most revolutionary project in yachting history. This video deserves your like, because you won't find such detailed content about Breakthrough anywhere else. Don't forget to subscribe, because technology marvels like this will continue to meet you on the Mega Yachts World Channel. Today, before you stands the world's first hydrogen fuel cell super yacht, Breakthrough. This isn't just a yacht, it's a revolution that shapes the future of the maritime industry, representing the pinnacle of environmentally friendly technology. This magnificent 118.8-meter project is the result of Feedship Shipyard's meticulous five-year work. Breakthrough is the first luxury yacht to use zero-emission hydrogen technology instead of traditional diesel engines. This technological marvel, whose only waste is water vapor, marks the beginning of a paradigm shift in the yachting world. Carrying the title of the largest yacht built in the Netherlands, Breakthrough is also the perfect example of sustainable luxury. The Hydrogen Revolution How does it work? Breakthrough's heart beats in its liquid hydrogen system stored at negative 253 degrees Celsius. This cryogenic storage system has a capacity of 92 cubic meters of hydrogen. This volume is the size of a double-decker London bus. This massive tank feeds 16 compact fuel cells, meeting all the yacht's energy needs. How does the system work? Liquid hydrogen combines with oxygen in fuel cells to generate electricity. The only byproduct of this electrochemical reaction is clean water vapor. So Breakthrough only releases water vapor into the atmosphere while cruising. No carbon emissions, no polluting gases. This technology not only provides the yacht with environmentally friendly operation, but also enables incredibly silent operation. There's no trace of noise from traditional diesel engines. Breakthrough can cruise completely silently at 10 knots with hydrogen energy or can meet the entire hotel load for a week while at anchor. Feedship's five-year engineering marvel. The Breakthrough project began in 2018 and was completed in 2025. As Feedship CEO Jan Bart Verquil stated, the aim has been to develop new, clean technology, not just for this project, but for the world. This vision transformed the project into something far more than simple yacht construction. The biggest challenge during the project was safely implementing cryogenic hydrogen storage within a super yacht. In collaboration with Feedship, Lloyd's Register and Edmiston, entirely new maritime safety regulations for liquid hydrogen storage were developed. These regulations form the foundation for future hydrogen yachts. An interesting detail, the hydrogen system added 4 meters to Breakthrough's original length. The cryogenic fuel tank, 16 compact fuel cells, the switching system connecting them to the DC electrical grid, and ventilation stacks for escaping water vapor required this additional length. RWD's striking design designed by British RWD Studio, Breakthrough maintains its elegance despite technological complexity. Flowing, sweeping lines hide the yacht's massive dimensions and give it a dynamic appearance. With five decks, four above waterline, one below, and a total weight of 7,247 tons, this giant presents a visually impressive stance. RWD's design philosophy shows itself in interior spaces as well. Light neutral colors, textured fabrics and leathers, marble, rattan, fumed and taupe eucalyptus, limed oak and other natural materials were used to create a luxurious coastal atmosphere. Details like door trims and hallway railings repeat their shapes on each deck, but materials change, creating a consistent yet diverse design language. The most striking interior feature is the glass-bottomed infinity pool. This 8.2-meter pool with its contraflow system, offers opportunities for both leisurely swimming and exercise. With its movable glass bottom, the pool can be used for different functions when needed. 
Luxury living spaces. Hotel standard comfort. Breakthrough accommodates 30 guests in 12 versatile cabins. The eight guest staterooms on the main deck can be converted into four VIPs for a more intimate experience. But what really stands out is the owner's suite. Spanning an entire deck, this area is more like a private apartment than a cabin. The owner's suite comprises two bedrooms, each equipped with its own bathroom and dressing room. Personal amenities include a gym, two offices each featuring a fireplace, and a living area. The forward-facing jacuzzi offers the owner a secluded spot to enjoy panoramic ocean views. 44 crew members work to provide guests with a relaxed luxury yacht experience. This number includes specially trained personnel required to operate the yacht's complex hydrogen systems. Other important areas of the yacht include a sea view library, games niche, beach club, and multiple slide-out balconies that seamlessly connect interior to sea. The sun deck features a forward hot tub, covered outdoor dining and lounging areas. Technical specifications. Engineering Marvel Breakthrough's technical features are impressive beyond hydrogen technology. Steel hull and aluminum superstructure provide enhanced stability and 19-meter beam. Naval architecture by Devoked. Naval Architects optimizes the vessel's safety and performance. As a conventional propulsion system, the yacht is also equipped with MTU engines. This hybrid approach provides flexibility for long-distance cruising. Because current hydrogen technology cannot provide sufficient range for ocean crossings. However, according to Feedship's calculations, 70 to 78 percent of the yacht's annual energy use is spent on hotel load. And Breakthrough can operate completely zero emission in this area. The fuel cells can use not only hydrogen, but also methanol, which is easier to store. Steam reform converts methanol to hydrogen before the electrochemical reaction in the fuel cell. This flexibility is important for future development of the technology. Bill Gates' connection and market position. One of Breakthrough's most interesting aspects is its connection to Microsoft founder Bill Gates. According to various sources, Gates is the owner of this revolutionary yacht. Reports in 2020 that Gates purchased a 112-meter hydrogen concept yacht called Project Aqua were false. The real project was Breakthrough. Interestingly, the yacht was put up for sale before delivery. According to Jamie Edmiston from Edmiston, the client was really focused on the tech and wanted to ensure the technology was well executed. The estimated asking price is around $675 million, reflecting the scale and cost of the hydrogen systems. This situation shows that Breakthrough is not just a luxury toy, but a working model of technological development. The owner's focus on technology rather than personal use demonstrates the project's research and development nature. Environmental Impact and Future Vision Breakthrough represents much more than just a green yacht. This project proves that luxury and environmental responsibility can not only coexist, but enhance each other. According to the Yacht Environmental Transparency Index, Yeti, 70 to 78 percent of a yacht's total annual energy use is for hotel load, with heating and air conditioning making the largest demands. Breakthrough's ability to meet this load with zero emissions represents a revolutionary step in the industry. Feedship has publicly declared its intention to build carbon-neutral superyachts by 2030, and Breakthrough is a crucial step toward this goal. The project's influence extends beyond yachting. Feedship's work on Breakthrough has already begun influencing ferry design, maritime regulations, and the next generation of green propulsion systems. This yacht is more than just a billionaire's toy. It's a working model of a net-zero marine future. Infrastructure and Regulatory Developments Breakthrough's development required creating entirely new infrastructure and regulations. 
In June 2025, Breakthrough became the first superyacht to receive liquid hydrogen bunkering in the Netherlands. This historic moment required developing new regulations and infrastructure that didn't exist before. The successful liquid hydrogen bunkering marked a milestone for European maritime infrastructure. Feedship worked closely with Dutch authorities and international maritime organizations to establish safety protocols for handling cryogenic hydrogen in yacht environments. These developments aren't limited to the Netherlands. The project has influenced international maritime law and is creating frameworks that will enable future hydrogen vessels worldwide. Breakthrough isn't just pioneering technology. It's pioneering the entire ecosystem needed to support that technology.